Hawk fans, another St. Joseph's men's basketball season on the horizon. The return of four starters for Phil Martelli and company, but a lot of potential for this freshman class. The likes of Lamar Kimball, Chris Clover, Pierre Francesco Oliva, and Markel Lodge. We sat down with each of them for our Meet the Freshman segment. Let's see what they had to say. Chris Clover, welcome to Hawk Hill. Thank you for having me. Yeah, good to have you. Um, at this point, been on campus for a little while. How have things been? How's, how's class? How's basketball? Uh, everything's been going really well. Um, basketball's been going really well. Uh, it's, been, it's been a little tiring to practices, but um, uh, I worked through it and uh, everything's been going well. School has been good. Uh, yeah, really can't complain. Uh, just got to get up on my accounting, that's all. It's good though. It's yeah, a, yeah. It'll help you later yeah. in life a little bit. Yep. When you first decided that you were going to come here, when, when did you feel like that was going to be a reality? When, when did you know, I guess, from the time you, you met Coach Martelli and you got familiar with the program to the time you made your decision? About, about how long was the process? Um, the process took a while because um, I, had, I had many schools. I had like uh, many, many local uh, Philadelphia schools. So I had Temple, LaSalle, and uh, going on those visits, I really didn't feel the connection that I had come to St. Joe's. I felt more connected at St. Joe's. I felt like uh, Coach Phil was more like a father, not, not like a father figure, but he was like more of like he was going to be involved in my life more, more than those other coaches. So I just thought that was one of the reasons why I wanted to come to St. Joe's. How would you uh, describe him in terms of in terms of um, playing for him and just uh, just just what he's like uh, off the court too? Uh, he, he's he's a, he's a, he's a tough guy. I know he's um he's very straightforward, which which I really like because my my high school coach is very straightforward, and um, he makes you work he makes you work hard. So that's that's what I pretty much like about him, and uh, he's a great coach. Coming to St. Joseph, being a, a Philadelphia guy, getting to play college basketball in in your home city. What's that like? What's what's that what's that mean when you stop and think about it? Um, it means like to me when I think of coming staying home, I think of my family. Um, I want my family to come support me, watch me play at home games. So that's the first thing I think of. And my little brother, he's he he me and him are in a little competition. He wants to go he wants to go to Duke. So he's like he's like, I wanna go far, I wanna go far, but I, I stayed home so he can come watch me play. He can, he can he criticizes me every uh, in high school he criticized me, so I know he's gonna do it now. So it's just, <laughs> it's just fun, it's just fun. Is he your biggest supporter? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Him, my mom, my whole family, my whole family supports me. What would you say if you had to self-evaluate a little bit? Biggest strength of your game, biggest weakness? Uh, biggest strength in my game, I would think, is being a versatile player. Like knowing, um, like since in high school, I played almost every position. So I think now I'm, I know I know how to, I, I, could, I could play the one, I could play the two, I could play the three because I'm big and strong enough to play. And my weakness would be, I just got to improve my handle and my shooting, that's all. And you can get in the lane? Yeah, of, of course, of course. That's I'm, good, I, like, it's good, it's good I, to I, hear. I, I can consider myself a slasher, so. Lamar Kimball, you know him as fresh. <clears throat> when did you first meet him? Uh, what was your first impression? In high school, we played, we played against each other all the time, so. I played for my freshman year. I played JV, so I got moved up in the playoffs. So I really didn't play. So sophomore year to, to senior year, that's when I really played against Fresh, and I thought he was a very good player. Um, he was a very good point guard. He's very smart. So when he committed here, I thought me and him were going to connect very well, and it was going to be it was going to be good for Saint for Saint Joe's and for everyone. Biggest adjustment for you, both transitioning high school to college academically, and then high school to college with basketball. I think at St. Joe's Prep, they prepared me very well um, academically. Uh, we had we had a tough we had a tough uh, um, criteria, so uh, I think they prepared me really really well. And for basketball, I think my biggest adjustment will be the speed of the game and playing at a different speed. Because when I watch film, sometimes I'm not moving fast enough. Sometimes I'm moving too fast, so I just got to adjust adjust that. Do you feel like it's slowed down? A little bit since since you got on campus. When did you you got here? When Ju I late got June? Here, I got here late June for the summer session, and then I, I went home for two weeks. Well, I went down the street for two weeks, <laughs> and came <laughs> and came back August twenty fourth. That's not so bad, yeah, right? It's not, yeah, it's not it's not bad at all. Hey, hey mom, I need some laundry right, done right. or a home cooked meal. <laughs> exactly. She brought me, 
my mom actually brought me, she brought me a home cooked meal um, Tuesday. It was uh, some rice and beans. It was, it was pretty good. Her, 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 her favorite. What's, uh, what's your favorite home cooked meal? If you uh, had to, if you could, you know, I, I remember when, uh, when my birthday rolled around, mm -hmm. I usually got, got a favorite meal. What's, uh -huh. what's your favorite meal? I'm, I'm a good, uh, I'm a nice, uh, I like um, turkey chops. If you know turkey chops, okay. have you heard of them? Yeah, she, 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 my mom makes pretty good turkey chops. Now, what's, uh, what, what consists of uh, turkey chops? Uh, it's, I guess you can say it's something like a pork chop. But pork it, chop, okay, but yeah. It, but it's turkey. But it's turkey. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Think, yeah, that I makes sense. A, yeah. That makes sense. Who are you closest with in um, terms of uh, on this team? I would just say the freshman, check on, check on fresh. Um, because during the summer, we room, I, room, I didn't room with them, but I was around them majority of the time. So I would just say I'm closer with those because they're freshmen and we talk a lot and we discuss basketball, schoolwork. So I'm really close with them too. Growing up in Philadelphia, big Philly sports guy or? Um, not really, not no? really. I really, I, I watch, I, like, I watch the Eagles, Phillies, but I was never big on, big on those teams. Who'd you grow up rooting for then? I, uh, I really didn't. I really didn't, just. Didn't have I really one. just watched every. Like I watched everything. I just like every team, every city. I was really never like one specific, specific uh, team. Favorite player growing up? Did you have one? Uh, favorite player, uh, Carmelo Anthony. I'm just. I'm just big on him. I don't know. He went to. He. He just. He. Um. In college, he went to Syracuse, and then he got traded. Then he went to the NBA. So like, I was always. I was always a big on Carmelo. I don't know why. It just. He just stuck with me. So like in high school, I wore. My, my junior year, I wore 15 because Melo wore 15 in uh, his college career and a little bit in the NBA, so I just, I just like him very much. I kind of have a soft spot for Carmelo. Yeah, I just yeah. like him. He's, he really, he's a really good scorer. I, I just like him. How much uh, have you thought about opening night? You know, the first time uh, you get to run out of the locker room, first time you get to put on that, that jersey, put on the crimson and gray here. I think about it a lot. I think about it almost every day because um, <laughs> people ask me, "When's your first game? When's your first game?" I go down, go down, go down, um, go to go back to the um, dorms. When's your first game? November thirteenth. Well, November thirteenth, and uh, I just can't wait. I just can't wait to put on that on that on that jersey and just run out, run out with my family in the crowd. So I just can't. It's gonna be very exciting. Have you thought about what what your goals are for this year in terms of just <clears throat> what you want to accomplish my individually mate. and as a team? <clears throat> My main goal for me um, is just get playing time, and then for team team goals, I just want I just want our team to do well, do well, try to make it back to the tournament at least, and then like experience. I just want to experience a tournament like as a freshman, like that would be just, just such a good experience for me. Lamar had brought up, you, know, you guys talking about it a little bit in the locker room, you and Checo and Lamar and uh, maybe Markel and some of the other younger guys. You know, talking about how last year you were just watching college basketball, now you're part you're of playing, it. Right. What when you think about that? What's that? What's that mean? What 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 kinds of feelings go through your head? Um, I don't, I don't know. It's just it's just kind of it's just kind of crazy because last year, like I usually would watch like guys who I followed in high school. I would try to go. Oh, they they're playing college now. Let's turn on TV. Now it's like. Are people going to turn on the TV for me? Like it's just like I don't know. It's just it's just a, it's just a crazy feeling that that I'm 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 here now, like at a plan on D1. So I'm really thankful for that. Well, we're looking forward to uh, to watching you capitalize on the opportunity. Yeah. Best of luck. Thank you very Good much. Good to have you here. Thank you.